Hey everyone, this is Parga Suthar and today we are going to learn propositional logic. Now see, in this today's session, we will discuss examples based on logical connectives that we uh, uh, did earlier. Now let us discuss some of the examples. Now first, express the following statements in propositional form. Now we all know that what is a propositional form. Okay. So the first statement is, there are many clouds in the sky, but it did not rain. So first what we will do, we will do, uh, we'll divide the statement into parts. So let P, so let P equals to, there are many clouds in the sky. See the whole statement is, there are many clouds in the sky, but it did not rain. So the first uh, part is, there are many clouds in the sky. And the second part, it rain. See. Uh, the given statement is it did not rain but we will convert it whenever there is a negation part we will convert it into the positive form so q is it rain now we will combine it so see uh, there are many clouds in the sky but but we know that but stands for end so what would be the proposition form so it will be there are many clouds in the sky and that is p and but means and this not q because we have taken q as it rain but not q that is it did not rain so p and not q let us discuss the second one uh, if uh, i will get first class if and only if i study well and score above 80 in mathematics so we'll divide this uh, statement into parts so what will be the first statement it will be let p equals to i will get first class then second uh, i will study well or i study well then third i score or simply i score above 18 mathematics so there will be total three parts okay now i will get first class if and only if so that is a proposition then if and only if i study well and and is also a proposition so what will be the propositional form it will be like this hence see i will get first class that is p now if and only if and that stands for the symbol this double uh, implication and I will study well and score above 18 mathematics. That means there is a bracket. So Q and R. So again, I will get first class. If and only if that is double implication. Uh, I will study well and score above 80 in mathematics. So this will be the proposition. So let us take next example. Computers are cheap, but softwares are costly. So again, we will divide it into parts. So the first statement will be computers are cheap. And second way will be software are costly. But this is an uh, easy one, but stands for end. So it's simply this, hence P and Q. So computers are cheap, but softwares are costly. Now it is very hot and humid, or Ramesh is having heart problem. So let us divide it into how many parts? I think there will be three or two. So let P equals to it is very hot, then Q, it is humid. And third one, Ramesh is having heart problem. So it is very hot and humid or so and and or it is a proposition. So what will be the propositional form? It is very hot. So that means P. Then it is humid. So and Q. So it is humid and Q or Ramesh is having heart problem. So R. So that means or R. So P and Q bracket or R. So this will be the propositional form. Now, if I finish my submission before 5 in the evening and it is not very hot, then I will go and play cricket. So how many parts will be there? So let us divide it into how many parts? First, if I finish my submission before 5 in the evening, so that is the first uh, statement and so that is a proposition. It is not very hot. See again, it is the negation form. So we will convert it into the positive manner. So it is not very hot. So just uh, simply Q equals to it is very hot. Okay, then then that is also a proposition. I will go. So the third part is I will go. So this is the third statement and and is also a proposition and fourth statement I will play cricket. So we will just combine all these statements and put into propositional form. So what will be it? So it will be like this. So hence P. So I will uh, I finish my submission before 5 in the evening then end so end means and and it is not very hot but we have taken q as it is very hot so p and not q and then if and then that is implication so implies 
this R and Q. So R and Q, so R is I will go and I will play cricket. So this is the propositional form. So second example, see if P stands for it is cold and Q stands for it is raining, then translate the following into symbols. So we have given here the statements and we will translate it. So it is cold or it is raining. See it is cold means P and it is raining means Q and we are here in the specific example there is or in between and what is or and that is the V symbol. So the proposition will be like this, this P or Q that means the symbolic form. It is cold or it is raining. Uh, second example, it is cold but it is not raining. So it is cold that means P but but stands for end and it is not raining but if we have taken Q it is raining but here in example it is not raining so that means it will be P and not Q simple then third if it is not cold then it is not raining so if it is not cold so that means not Q not P then it is not raining that means not Q and then if and then that is also a proposition so it will be not P implies not Q easy then next sufficient condition for rain is that it is cold now see we have studied uh, this type of uh, statement sufficient condition necessary condition and it is very easy i think it is p implies q or q implies p just think about it so it will be q implies p then next a necessary condition for raining is that it be cold so it will be p implies q it is easy and last a necessary and a sufficient condition for raining is that it be cold so it will be the p double implication q third example express the contrapositive the converse inverse negation form of the conditional statement the statement is given if x is real then x is rational so what we'll do we'll just convert this into the symbolic form so again if x is real then x is rational so the p will be x is real and q will be x is rational okay now what will be the symbolic form here the proposition is used if and and then so if then it is the proposition so in symbolic form it will be this p implies q so p implies q that means if x is real then x is rational now we will convert or we will find contrapositive converse inverse negation form of the p implies q so, so first one uh, the contrapositive statement now we know that if p implies q then what will be the contrapositive of this p implies q uh, and it is easy it will be not q implies not p but see uh, the question is if x is real then x is rational that means it is in statement form so obviously we will have to write it into statement form so not q implies not p so what does that mean so that is x is real uh, sorry x is rational and here we have not q so that means the statement will be if x is not rational then x is not real so now second the converse form now if p implies q then what will be the converse form it will be q implies p now what is q implies p into, into the statement form uh, we have uh, p as x is real and q is as rational x is rational so q implies p so if x is rational then x is real easy so if x is rational then x is real so the third one what is the inverse of whatever the question so the inverse if p implies q then the inverse will be not p implies not q okay now not p implies not q if x is real then x is rational now what will be the not p and not q so not p that means if x is not real then x is not rational then negation form if p implies q see this one is important uh, we have given the statement p implies q so that means negation of p implies q that is negation of p implies q now we have used one property then that we will discuss in uh, later sessions so p implies q that is equivalent to not p or q so negation of negation p or q now uh, whenever negation is in the bracket so you will get not of not p you will get p uh, and negation of or that is end and negation of q that is negation q so that means this uh, equivalent to p and not q 
okay so what will the statement form x is real and x is not rational let us discuss next example construct so this type of example can be also asked so construct the truth table for the form this not p or q implies q see we need to just construct the truth table so how many statements are there first there are only two, uh, two statements that is p and q okay so in truth table how many columns will be there uh, first column will be this p okay then q now not p is also there so the third column will be not q and uh, not p then q we have already done now not p or q so that means fourth column will be not p or q and last this whole uh, statement that means not p or q and q okay now see there are as uh, two statements so there will be four possibilities either both are true both are false one is true another one is false and one is false then another one is true so uh, this p q will be t t t f f t and f f now see not of p that means t t f f is there so not p will be f f t t okay now not p or q so that means the second and third column okay and what is how to calculate or whenever uh, there is t only one t so it will be t so that means this tf so you will get t ff both are true then it is false uh, both are false then it is false both are true then it will be true and last any one is true that will be true and last column tt means t then ff that means true then ff see tt means t then ff means true then both are t the true and ft means f because the conclusion part is f okay so uh, next example construct the truth table uh, for the form this not p implies r and not p double implication double implies q so uh, for the construction of truth table how many columns will be there so first uh, the solution so first this p uh, see there are i think uh, there are total three statements so uh, you will get p q and r now see not p is there so not p then not p implies r then uh, you will get not p implies r then this p double implication q so p double implication q and last this whole statement so this whole statement okay so see uh, we have total how many three statements so there will be total eight possibilities uh, in uh, all the previous examples there were only two statements so we had four possibilities okay so now here we will have eight possibilities so how to just remember see there will be eight possibilities so see first this uh, fix tt okay so we will have two possibilities either it is true or it is false okay so two are done now then fix this t and f so we will have two possibilities either it is true or it is false so tft and tff then again this uh, fix f and t okay so we will have t and f and last fix ff so fix ff so we will have either t and f so this is how you can create this possibilities now see t uh, t t so what will be not p so t uh, four times t and four times f so f uh, not p will be ff f f and four times t then not p implies r so that means not p implies r so it will be t t t t t f t f how see not p implies r so this fourth column and r so f so we need to just con uh, consider the conclusion part so f t so that means t then f f both are false then it is true then f t so just t the conclusion part is t then f f so both are false and then it will be true both are true then also it will be true now tf but the conclusion part is f so it is f then both are true then it is true then tf so it is f so here it will be f now p double implication q so how to write p double implication that means is consider this first two columns okay so whenever both are true so it is true both are true so it is true uh, anyone is false so it will be false up to this now both are false then also it is true and both are false then also it is true so that means both are true then it is true and both are false then it is true so in short if both are same then it is true okay and the last column this uh, 
fifth and sixth and in between there is end so how to calculate it so tt so t tt so t now tf anyone is false so then false so tf then false then df false ff then f double d so t and anyone is false so it is false so this is how you can construct a true table thank you Thank you.